Hi there again, Josie here from Live at 50 and Beyond. Thanks for joining me here again my channel. Today I'll be decorating my first week of October layout on my big happy planner, which I have decided to just use as a scrapbook or a memory keeper book rather than a planner, and I'll explain it to you later. But first, I want to show you my heated stickers that I got from Amazon. I have posted a photo on this one a while back on Instagram and I have been waiting for fall because a lot of these images are fall related and even winter related so I am so excited and as you can see the pages of my happy planner really complements the colors of the images that you see here on the heat of stickers and they are oh I think I purchased this set free, free shipping and handling because of my prime membership and it probably didn't even cost me four dollars i'll find the link and i'll uh put in a description box below anyway like i said i'll be using my big happy planner moving forward starting this month uh, as a memory keeper or as my another form of scrapbooking for me i will put in here the things that are memorable that i need to kind of document also for future reference and and mostly milestones personals and career-wise anything that happened in my life and also my family's life the reason being it's because i am finding myself in need of a planner with me at all times wherever i go i still work from home full time like i mentioned on my last uh last week's uh, planner video that you know i work from home full time and my planner has been very very helpful this big happy planner with a lot of the spaces that allows me to put in the information or the to-do list for my work my social networking and personal things however like i said with youtube my life has changed and i am ready for the next phase in my life and not sure where it's gonna take me but i know that i would be needing something that's more portable so i will be using my webster's pages traveler's notebook and you're probably going to wonder well you never work for you but i guess if you really want something really bad you will find a way to make it work and i'll explain further when i do my my layout on my traveler's notebook which I am going to be editing and uploading after this one so maybe by tomorrow I'll be ready to upload it but right now let me just show you how I decorate my layout for this big happy planner I'll be using this de decorative paper from recollections there are 180 sheets here and I'll just use this page that has a lot of sayings here and the color just blends well with the pages again and I'll also be using another page from another paper pad which I hold from Ross and this is the one I got this for $1.99 and I'll just use this page here the one that has orange and like a leaf style design of graphic to complement those uh, frames with or or box words there so I'll be fast forwarding and putting in some music and talk to you later
completed layout for the first week of October and although I am not using this anymore as a planner in its strictest sense I just hope that those of you who are using happy planners whether they're, they're small or big that you can still continue to use it for that purpose and I hope that I have inspired you in how to use a happy planner as a planner on my previous videos that I was using it as a planner. Again, moving forward, I will be using my Traveler's Notebook as a planner and this one as a memory keeper so that I can at least have something to look back to on all the milestones that happen in my life, whether it's my career, business, anything that's happening on YouTube or social networking, and most especially the personal and even the spiritual aspect of my life. So again, this is Josie from Life at 50 and Beyond. Thanks for joining me here again on my channel. Please click subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And please click like and leave some comments down below. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.